Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon and welcome back for more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> Plainly, Gratilda is defeated once more. You've earned her most powerful and devastating vehicle part, the horn. To be honest, it doesn't really do a whole lot, though I've heard that ghosts aren't very fond of the noise. Does that help? I've added the horn to your trolley and left a couple in your garage. Your trolley is now, as they say, maxed out. Yeah, we got the final upgrade to the trolley. Feels quite surreal to be saying that. Feels like just yesterday that we were getting the high grip wheels. And the high grip wheels are kind of a weird example of a good item because... The high grip wheels unlock so much as does the spring and the floaters. And then the last couple parts we've had, the scuba seat, the laser, and now this, have just been kind of... Like... A little bit of niche type items. But, yeah, we now have the horn. What does the horn mean? Well, we can finally, finally do something with the one, the few treasure chests we have not, or not treasure chests, but the few boxes we have yet to do anything with. At last, the sirens are calling me. I'm finally free. Free. Well, really, I've just been sitting on this box for 40 years. My cheeks are well, Mom. <laughs> yes. We now have access to getting the final Mumbo Crates in the game. Huge, huge, huge asterisk there because, um, there's only four left here, but you'll notice that, uh, yeah, it still says at a 57 there. We'll be getting to what that means in a little bit, but for right now, we'll be getting the last of the norm normal Mumbo Crates here. It's one of these in the theater district, and I don't know where it's... There's one that I'm not sure where it is. There's one in the area near up town. Okay, come on now. That was not where I wanted to throw that, but okay then. Um, I forgot that there's this here. Yet we knock some of these things down sometimes. <laughs> but yeah. The 90 Jiggies is a little on the steep side to be getting that, but if you just kind of do a lot of the acts you have opened up, you should have quite a few acts that have a lot of Jiggies opened up. I mean, we haven't even gone to Act 6 of half the levels. I mean, well, granted, we have every Jiggy up to this point, but besides that, I mean, yeah, it's still like we kind of haven't done a whole lot in this. Anyways, okay, come the... Do I really need to do trolley hopping here? The why in the world can I can I just get this guy from below here? Yes, I can. All right, sweet. Yes, the sirens are free. I'm free. Well, really, I've just been sitting. Okay, they say the same humor every time. So yeah, not totally sure why these sirens, like, or why these ghosts are like guarding these. But anyways, all, what I do know is is that there's another crate right here. So there's still two more in the game, and. I, I don't know where one of them is, admittedly. I can check by... I can check just around, anyway. You can usually see them off in the distance pretty well. There's one up in Uptown, that much I do know. I just don't know where this other one is. No, that would be it there. Draw distance also might not- Oh, I know where it is! I see it. I actually- Yeah, I see it off in the distance now. I did know where- I did know where that was. I just forgot that this one was here. Oh. Wouldn't be a Nuts and Bolts video if I didn't have that happen. God, it, it feels so weird thinking we're this far in the game. Like, Nuts and Bolts' pacing is kind of strange, admittedly, but- I, it just does not feel like we're this far in the game. This Let's Play is by no means close to being done, but it really is at the same time. Okay, got that guy, and I have to 
put up with this. Okay, can this dialogue box disappear, please and thank you. There we go. And I'm actually going to take these back to Mumbles Motors now, because the last one will require me draining the pipe in Uptown again. I'll, I'll talk to Mumbo once we have all four there so you can see everything we get. Kind of like what I did with the laser. But even, like, the laser, it feels like such a long time since we got that. Like, I think we got the laser on part, like, 23, 22, 21, something like that. This is part 39. And we haven't... It doesn't feel like we've done that many things since then, to tell you the honest truth. Like, I mean... Granted, it's because some of the levels have gotten more complicated and have taken several videos. I mean, Train of Terror Act 2 took three videos because of how complicated some of those missions were. But anyways, last one is in Uptown, and I gotta remember my way into the Uptown. Alright, back in this area one final time. You might, you might be wondering why I wouldn't have just waited till this point to get the other crate that's in here, but let's be honest, a small jet is definitely worth coming through here, even if it means coming back a second time for this other item. So, I don't need it. Nope, no, 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 I'm not having that. Ah, the sirens are calling me? Yeah, 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 we've heard this shtick before. I don't know why the game needs to go like 10 seconds there every time. I don't remember that, but honestly, I think the last time I played this game, or got to play this part of the game, was maybe 7 years ago. So it's been a while, to say the very least. Anyways, I gotta activate this again. Yeah, I'll meet you guys over by Mumbo's Motors, because we got some exciting stuff to show off. I'm... I mean, you kind of... there's kind of a hint of this, and wow, I guess cutting out didn't really matter a whole lot. The horn has one, one more use, though. And you know what it is? Um, I said you know what it is? I actually don't think I can show it off right now, because... whatever. Anyways... Mumbo, I've waited a long time for this one. What do we get for all that? Ah, bear bring another crate. What's in this one? Mumbo open parts door. So, bear can use parts in garage and build better vehicles. Better vehicles is an understatement. Super seat. Super fuel times two. More super cubes, all those other super items. Super wheel times eight. Super engine. Super ammo too. Oh boy, if you have no idea how helpful these items are, look at the super fuel thing here. You get very high amounts of fuel. It's sturdy and only has low weight. Basically, these are the best items in the game. In fact, no, you know what? I think it's worth going into the Tesla track to show this. I've actually thought of this for a while now, but I want to modify my trolley here to being basically the same as my trolley, but a definitive version of it. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to personally do. Trolley Mark 7. Seats super, if Mumbo can say his description of it. Oh, not gonna. This is more like throne than seat. Strong, light, and airtight. Mumbo always want one of these. Get rid of that. Because this super seat is amazing by comparison. It's basically every other seat combined. Wheels. Oof, not gonna. Best wheels Bear can get. Lots of grip and no reduction of vehicle speed loss. These things are your best friend. Basically, once you get super parts, you're never gonna want to use another part in the game. Super engine. Bear do good. Best engine in game. Have most power and not use much fuel. You know what? You know what else? You know how I complain about the large engine being kind of bulky and an L shape and kind of hard to work with. Super engine is one block. 
Uh, where's the small engine? There's the small engine. Um, there we go. Super fuel! Where better get this small light and contain most fuel? This thing? You know how this large fuel is this big? That's how small the super fuel is. And watch how much I get from this. <laughs> These items are amazing. I'm not kidding. I don't need a large storage, although I might make a large box version of this actually at some point. Super ammo. You can probably guess where I'm going with this one. Okay, maybe not as much ammo as you might want, but that's still pretty dang decent, all things considered. The super perts, I won't beat around the bush, they look friggin' amazing. I was in, never really a huge fan of the metallic design of those other parts, but the smoothness of these other vehicles, you used, I used to see these vehicles a lot back in the day in, like, just random vehicles my friends had on Xbox Live or whatever, and I used to want these really badly, and so that's why I strived for be for beating Train of Terror Act 5, or, yeah, Act 5, because getting these items is a, like, you'll have these, the award for the sexiest vehicles in town award. Uh, the horn here, well, we already have one on our vehicle already. And accessories, I actually haven't even gone into this yet. Uh, Pottle Plant, nice plant help produce carbon footprint. Uh, weird. Yeah, the Spirit of Pants. <laughs> Rubbish sure her website mascot now, Rubbish Vehicle Net. <laughs> I, saw... <laughs> I forgot how funny these descriptions were. Stop air getting flies and face off and make realistic cars instead of ugly mess of square blocks. Mirrors. What do you say about mirrors? I love some of Mumbo's descriptions. Oh, 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 I use for, this is for mirror, laugh at losers, miles behind, build underpowered scooter vehicle with many mirrors, ugly bird, even check bad makeup. The tag, which, you know what? I'm gonna throw one of these on my the front of my car anyway, just to say that that's on there. And the paper pal, bear oh. paper critter on vehicle filled with fun. Mumble like trouble in paradise, recommended. I went over this before, but I still love that reference. Anyways. Let's see how well this vehicle performs. You can see why I like this vehicle already. These ve these parts, not only is the blue, like the blue skidding effect really cool looking, not only does having, okay, a little bit, I could honestly go for a little tiny bit more ammo and I might actually even use my other part of ammo, but yeah. The super vehicles make even some of the most mundane vehicles very, very standout worthy. This vehicle's not hard, that hard to control, and yeah. So, um, yeah. I don't know what else I'm really going at with that, but... <sighs> From here on out, too, I want to point out some of Mumbo's new rewards for every 10 Jiggies are more super engines, fuels, and ammos. Which, <laughs> you can imagine how good one super engine is, but two, oh god, yeah, we're gonna have to start making some dang good vehicles in a few moments. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Well, I'm gonna save this here. Actually, wait, no, I, I wanted to make a couple more changes here. I said... I did say I was kind of interested in another ammo, which I still am. Oh, right here, that's where I want to put that. I also wanted to put a... Speco Spy on here as well, because I'm probably going to use this quite a bit. Um, there we go. name this the super trolley and I'm gonna call that a video thank you guys for watching this episode of let's play banjo kazooie nuts and bolts and if we head back into showdown town I'm, I'm delaying I'm fear of cooking roast beef and nutty egg <laughs> okay there is actually a hint to that achievement that's pretty funny <laughs>
And, yep. One more thing before we go. Law broken, disturbing the peace. Yep, you can't even raise your horn and play your horn that much in this. Because it's considered a crime. Some police force we got. How did I escape the cops that quickly, seriously? Anyways, thank you for watching. I've been Master Starman. Peace out.